Wow. Damn, that voice. So, wow. it's a Biostro Master Lee. And Lulu. Linkin Park continues to be prolific. Let's write a whole new song. Unearthed, as they say. Wow. And this one Unearthed. features vocals from Chester Bennington. Once again, another song that was recorded before he passed away. They never bothered to release it. Uh -huh. I guess according to band members, there was still something not quite right about it. So they wanted to, you know, shelve it, go back to visit it later. But they did record it. Like, it's a full session. Yeah. It's a relatively recent song, too. Like, I think they recorded it in, during 2017. So it was just before he passed. Oh, so they actually have video footage too. I'm like, all right, we definitely got to check this out. Yes, well, such a blessing. It is know? a blessing, yeah, because this is now, I think, like the third track that we've gotten from them uh, since he's passed away. I don't know how many more songs. They are hinting there's more. <gasps> so who knows? Maybe they were prolific like Prince. And they got a whole bunch of stuff that they've recorded yeah. but just never released just like ton yeah. and a ton of stuff i would believe that you think so huh yeah you know how you just this artist they like to create music and just record it and then you know you know maybe if that was the case i feel like a lot more musicians would be like all right we got one more hidden track we got another one but that's just not well, the that's case. what it is they, they don't want to release it because they feel like it's not right it's something's missing it's not that know. good enough I, if i was a music artist just and randomly. Like, <laughs> I just release stuff randomly because make money. People are going to download. They oh like me. God. Who knows? Let's just put it this way, right? There's been a lot of really famous artists now who have passed away. Long gone. Whitney Houston. Michael Jackson. Have we heard any new tracks? We haven't. Even Elvis. So to me, it kind of suggests that there were no other tracks. So I think it's very unusual for bands to be that prolific. I mean, this might just be a Linkin Park thing. They were just prolific and never bothered to release everything. All right, let's check this out. By the way, want to hear some wicked wild stories about Vegas? You can check out my channel. And if you want some hotness, check out my fantasy show. Tell me the words I've forgotten What we were fighting for Staring right into the darkness Through an empty open door Can't put back what's been broken Can't change the moment We went too far We're pulling apart for no reason We're pulling a trigger in a useless war And if we come back and go in
Wow. Damn, that voice. So wow. powerful, so clear. You know, when he sings, because we know him to be someone who, when he screams, mm. it's so powerful. But when he has a clarity of voice, when he's calmed down, mm-hmm. it's just beautiful. It's a very mm. popish song. It is. Even. Like, I wasn't that expecting. <laughs> Expecting that, especially with the title like "Friendly Fire," like all right, guns, <laughs> like ah. But no, it was a very electro popish mm, sound. So- sounds so refreshing. It is, you know. Yeah. But it's also a very beautiful combination of the visuals with that. You know, it's like they're they're lounging around. I don't know if that's recorded during or sometime afterwards. But you know, maybe and they they're just use that yeah, they just footage. use that footage, right, and kind of piece it together to form something. Yeah. In fact, I, what I'm really more curious about is what did the original track sound like that made them go, you know what, we'll hold off on it mm-hmm. because my guess is since then. They probably done some things to make it better in their eyes, right? Because we know that Mike is an amazing producer. Like he can cut stuff, create hooks. So if they already had the vocals, they can't really change that. So they must have added other things like layers of drums or sound or something to to, mm. to make it feel like okay, this is this is now worthy. Right, right. But I don't know if they would ever release that, right? You're not that close with them, so the to be able to, to hear them. it behind the scenes. <laughs> yeah, no, baby, I never said I was close okay, to them. Okay. Saying it would be cool to. They actually, you know, give us a little before and after. Oh, true that. Wow, that was so nice. And seeing him here, it's so beautiful. Yeah. That moment of him smiling, having fun with the group. My sense is like that's probably the moment when he feels most comfortable. Mm. Where, you know, the, the other thoughts in your minds that tend to invade, that kind of create darkness around you. I think. It just seems like when he's in this moment, clouds disappear. And you can see the happiness when he's coming up with chords and he's, you know, he's singing. It's, it's like healing. It is. For him. Yeah. 